Hi guys, today in this video, I'll be demonstrating how to build reusable transformations and maplet. Then, we'll be using these reusable components in one of our mapping. At the end of the session, I'll be showing some of the useful tips for your mapping development. Just like any procedure language, Informatio also gives some capability for making your code reusable. Once you make your code reusable, this code can be used in multiple mappings. And if you make a change in your reusable transformation or maplet, that's going to be affecting or changing in all the places where it is used. So the reusable transformation is really powerful. Uh, it can make your coding very strong and easy to maintain. Okay. With that, let's go ahead and create the reusable transformation. For that, go to Tools and Transformation Developer. Here we are going to build a reusable expression, which is going to trim spaces from a string column. Okay. For that, go to Transformation and create an expression. Open the transformation and go to port. Create two new port. One is going to be an input port, and the other one is going to be output port. Okay. I'm going to give the name of the port, and I'm going to give the expression to trim the spaces. Apply. Okay. You can see that the the transformation has been created and it's available in the repository navigator okay so now here we have created the reusable expression transformation which takes a string and gives a string after removing the spaces from it maplet is a reusable component which combines multiple transformations together and build a business logic once you have this maplet created you can use this maplet in multiple mappings Let's see what's the basic structure of a maplet. From this slide, you can see that it will always have a transformation called maplet input. Then we will have a, a transformation called maplet output. In between, you can see that the there are multiple transformations combined together to build the business logic. Okay. Now let's go ahead and create the maplet. For that, go to the Pausen Designer and go to maplet designer here i'm going to create a maplet which takes item number item name quantity and price then it's going to generate the sales per item name okay as the first step let's go to maplet and create the maplet has been created in the repository navigator and in the first step i'll be creating the maplet input transformation Go to transformation, create, open the maplet input transformation, go to the port and give the name of the port. Okay, I have given the input port names and if you notice here, here we do not have the data type and all the ports are defined as output port. Click on apply and okay. After the next step, I am going to create the expression transformation to create the sales. The next step will be to create the aggregator to find the total sales. So now I have created the sales and find out the total sales per item. The last step is going to create the maplet output transformation. Now we can pull all the three columns from the aggregator to the maplet output. Do I arrange all? So with that we have created a maplet which takes four columns, item number, item name, quantity and price and it's going to generate the sales per item okay go to maplet and do a validate we can see from here the output window okay do a save okay. now i'm going to create a mapping which uses these two reusable components okay here i'm going to create a mapping which reads data from the orders table 
and generate the sales per item okay i'm going to create the mapping pull the order table now i'm going to use the reusable expression to trim the spaces from item name drag the reusable transformation from the repository navigator okay and map the item name from the source qualifier to the expression transformation okay now i need to pull the map red which finds out the sales per item from the repository navigator to the first page now connect the item number from the source qualifier then the item name from the expression transformation then the quantity and sales from the source qualifier here in the mapping transformation you can see the input is going to be item number item name quantity and price and the outputs are going to be item number item name and the sales per item okay if you open the mapping transformation there is not any properties which we can change here okay if you need to change any of the properties or any of the logic we applied we we should go back to the mapped designer and make the changes in the same way if you go to the reusable transformation and if you see the properties we cannot make changes in any of the properties and if you need to make the changes you should go to the transformation developer and make the changes okay as the last step in the mapping i'm going to pull the target and connect from the mapnet do a right click and arrange all here you can see that i have read data from the order table then i use the reusable expression transformation to trim the spa spaces then i am using the maplet to build the sales per item okay then it is loaded to the sales item table do a validate and save as the next step i have created the session task and workflow if you go to the session properties and go to mapping here you can clearly see the transformation which is part of the maplet okay and there is not any special properties to be given here so i'm going to do a cancel and i'm going to run the workflow okay in the workflow monitor we can see that the workflow execution has started and succeeded and you can see here it has read 20 records and written 11 records after doing the summarization okay it's time for the mapping development tips after you build your mapping you might see that one of your columns has a wrong data type to fix that you might have to go to each transformation and fix the data type but there is an easy way for that here in this example i found that the quantity column has to be a integer column so what i'm going to do is open this expression and change the data type to integer play okay so now i'm going to do a right click on that column then it's going to pop me up with a option to propagate attribute click on that now it's going to give me some option to propagate the uh, the name data type precision scale and the description of the column towards the forward backward or both okay i need to change the data type for all the columns from all the transformation so i am going to choose the both option okay and if i click on the preview option it's going to show me what are the columns going to be changed by propagating, propagating the attributes so if here you can see that it's going to change in the source qualifier and it's going to get changed in the aggregated transformation so i'm going to click on propagate okay the same thing you can see that here in the output window okay in a very large mapping it may not be easy for you to understand what the transformation you are using in one particular column for that there is an easy method what you can do is like go to the column in which you want to see the transformation logic 
do a right click on that column and go to the select path and click on backwards okay here you can see that there are a couple of columns are highlighted in the red and if you trace back you can see that's a column which we use to derive the total price okay that's all guys for this video please let me know your feedback and questions on this video in my next session i'll be covering about the normalized transformation please go to my facebook page you'll be able to get the instructions for completing this training session there you'll be able to get a list of training session training manual and much more information just for the fun thank you guys see you again for the next video thank you